the centerpiece for the tech center was the simulator program. Every time we have a driver or a team in the simulator, it makes that driver, that car, that setup, that engineer smarter and better. When you're at Road America in the real, trying to test going flat has huge repercussions, right? So that's why this is so cool because the dynamics of the car are the same in here as they are on the track. You can make that adjustment. You can turn a little later, you can turn a little earlier, you can keep trying it flat and drive off in the grass and it'll help you. And so, I mean, that's what comes to mind first to me is when I go to Road America now after spending all this time today, I kind of know that point where I can have a shot at, at making the corner flat. And that's a big deal, man, because you don't want to see what the repercussion is if you do it wrong flat in real life. You can up and down the grip level. You can, you, you can basically um, simulate rain. You can simulate the darkness. And uh, just change some visual stuff. Yeah, back to Nürburgring. Holy moly. That's going to be interesting. Good grip in the rain here. They are just awesome. Super low grip, but the driver makes it up. Okay, that's enough. Shut him down. Uh, need some corner lights here. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy moly. Uh, you gone. <laughs> I, I'm gone. Today we were having a good time watching who could do the who could do the lap and you know, it's always that last guy in gets that last shot to throw down. It's always a challenge. You know, I know what he did right now and when I'm going back on the sim, I want to beat that time, that's for sure. We make a lot more adjustments here um, than we do at the racetrack because it's quite a bit faster to do here. It's more consistent. The driver might be, okay, it's a little bit better here, a little bit worse here. Okay, well, let's go back. And it's very easy to just to hit, go back to the setup before. It takes no time to rerun it, where you can't do that at the track. Understanding to that level of detail before you go to the track uh, gives you a competitive advantage once you get to the track. Yes, he comes wow. around the outside, wow. and that is a very That's cool maneuver. When you get here, you feel like you're dropping right in like you've already been here for a while. We did some bar changes on the simulator, some damper stuff, and all that stuff seemed to work here also. We had like a special setup for, there's a bump going up the hill into six, where the rear gets light over the bumps. That specific setting worked there perfectly. So it's definitely working. It's the battle for second in GT Le Mans. Ford are one, two. Checker flag. Back to back wins on the series. Good job, A. A one, two finish for the Blue Oval here at Road America. A clean sweep of one, two for Vortip Ganassi Racing. Now we're, we're doing mainstream vehicle dynamics development here as well. So for our road cars that people can buy in a Ford dealership and drive on the street today, we're using the same simulator that we use in racing to develop our future road cars to make those cars even better, better steering response, better ride, better handling, better braking.